Hey there, good morning. It's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And today I want to talk to you about unplugging in your business and when is it appropriate to unplug and when, uh, well, why, is, why should you be unplugging every once in a while? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the reason I want to talk about this is because I see too many entrepreneurs these days getting into burnout. And I know sometimes we feel the pressure to make more money, get more clients, keep working, 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 working. Trust me, I know I'm the doer. <laughs> I'm a doer. <clears throat> and um, I just, I, you have to take time out for yourself at some point in some, in some small way or big way sometimes. And that means truly unplugging. I mean, you don't want people coming up to you or, or getting a hold of you 24-7 on your cell phone, do you? I mean, really? All the time, every day, right? I mean, really figure out how to set better boundaries for yourself. That's part of it, is setting boundaries, setting expectations of clients or prospects or uh, your team members, perhaps, <clears throat> so that you can have your downtime, so you can have the time that you need uh, in order to rejuvenate yourself and uh, stay passionate about what you're doing. Because if you continue with the go, 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 doing, doing, doing 24 seven, seven days a week, I mean, <clears throat> at some point you're going to hit a wall. You're going to either start getting resentful of your business or people around you. You're going to uh, potentially get into burnout. And a lot of the times when I find entrepreneurs in this state, they're not even being um, super productive with the time that they are spending. They're just calling themselves busy. Well, I'm busy. I'm busy doing this. I'm busy doing that. But they're not really being profitable and productive or efficient with their time. So I think it's important for you to take a step back, whether it's on your own, if you really think you can evaluate what it is you're doing yourself. Because sometimes we can't see what it is we're doing. We're like we're in the middle of it and we can't see what other people can see by looking in. And that's one thing I'm super good at is really evaluating and analyzing where people are, what they're trying to accomplish, what how they're trying to accomplish it, and seeing that the holes and the opportunities in what they're doing, whether they can be more efficient, more productive, more profitable in the things that you're already doing or the things that you aren't doing and you don't think you need to do. Um, <clears throat> a lot of times you're doing these one, two, three things over here, but that's not really the revenue producing activities and you're avoiding that true revenue producing activities or you're either avoiding them because you don't know how to do them or don't know what to do. Um, or you just don't know what you don't know and you don't know to add them or that you should be doing them in order to get where you want to go. So it's there's so much to know as being an entrepreneur and you're not expected to know it all. You really aren't. I mean, you weren't born with the, the, the a chip in your brain that just automatically you can turn it on when you're an entrepreneur and say, okay, here's everything you need to know about being an entrepreneur. That does not happen, you guys. You have to learn this stuff. You have to train and learn this stuff. And, and you know, I just came back from a, a trip about a week long. And one, one part of it was where I was an exhibitor at this event with a bunch of moms and entrepreneur moms. And <clears throat> some of the speakers were pretty enlightening about um, not creating balance for your life because I don't really believe in balance. I believe you create your own balance. And that doesn't mean it's, it's, the X amount of hours in work and X amount of hours in play. It's whatever, whatever you feel is balancing. Um, and some people were very systematized, system oriented in the speaking that they did, which is something I'm really passionate about is getting people more uh, systematized in your business, getting more processes in place and getting people to potentially uh, complete those processes so you don't have to do everything and you're not the bottleneck in your business because a lot of entrepreneurs are your own you're your own bottleneck uh, sometimes and so you really want to be able to evaluate where <clears throat> where the holes are where the 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 lack is in your business and sometimes we know sometimes we don't know sometimes you think you know but you really don't know and you don't know what you don't know and until someone brings it up to you you don't 
you don't know. I can't even tell you how many people a week that I talk to about just random stuff in their business and they get huge ahas going, oh, I didn't even think about it that way or oh, I had no idea. I did that yesterday on a call all about Facebook, somebody, and I told somebody a different way of thinking about how to go about being on Facebook for their business. And they hadn't even thought about it that way. I mean, how many of you could potentially be in the same boat, right? And you're not being efficient, you're not being productive, and you're not being profitable with just Facebook alone. That's one of 20 different marketing strategies that I teach, right? So it is so important to get a, someone else from the inside looking in. And I'm not just saying that because I want to sell you into a coaching or whatever. Honestly, though, you have to, you have to agree that you don't know it all, and it's not just going to come into your brain. So how are you going to learn, right? The second half of my trip this last week was learning more about how to be a better storyteller. <clears throat> and I'm not really telling a story about a personal story about me today, um, but that the storytelling part of it is so critical, right? It is. I mean, that's how we communicate. That is the new currency, it really is. If you're just going about telling people about the, the nuts and bolts of what you do and you're not getting into a personal experience with them, then you're missing out. You're missing out on clients and customers and referrals and financial gain, frankly. So we have to embrace that personal side of what we're doing. And uh, in fact, I'll be doing some other videos soon about different stories and things like that because it's so important for, um, if I'm sharing with you on video, it's important for you to understand me and to get me and to get my values and my characteristics and uh, so that you like, trust and connect with me faster. Just like if when you're doing video and you should be doing video, then you're the people that are watching your videos should be feeling the same way, right? We want them on board with us. It's kind of like having a book. When someone reads your book, they read your innermost thoughts usually, right? And so they get to know you on a deeper level when they read your book. Same thing that we have to let them in into video as well. So in order to do some of this stuff though, we have to make space for it. We have to stop and we have to think. We have to have time to think. We have to have time to brainstorm these ideas about what to do in a video or what to say in a book or an email, right? We have to have this brainstorming time. You want to have somebody that you can brainstorm with new ideas as well as how to implement some of them. Not all of the ideas you get should be implemented, by the way. <laughs> um, some of them are just bright, shiny objects. But you need to spend some time brainstorming, I would say, on a monthly basis, a monthly basis, because months can go by, and if you haven't reimagined things or done enough marketing or put yourself out there enough in different ways, the, the clients are probably not coming to you as quickly as they could. So let's get real about what really needs to happen and let your guard down, let people in, you know, whether you need a therapist with some of the issues you might having, whether you need a life coach to help you stay on track or an accountability partner, or you need a business co and marketing coach like someone like me. I mean, I kind of do all of it, unfortunately, but, but uh, the point is that let some people in and let various people in until you find the right balance of people on your team because coaches and and people that are here to support you are your team not just the people you hire are on your team but everybody that you potentially could work with in that way are, are part of your team they're your go team they're your cheerleading squad they're you know they are the people that are going that you can count on and rely on and call when you need them most uh, and so I, I would love to be a part of your team. I know that you're watching this via email or social media or maybe even on my, on my YouTube, but we can have a deeper connection. And you don't have to just sit and watch videos of me or listen to me in my email newsletters. You can actually reach out. And people say, well, Katrina, you're too expensive. I can't afford you. Well, that's bull crap. That's bull crap, okay, frankly. Because there's a lot of different ways to take advantage of me 
and to not take advantage of me, but you know, like get insight from me on your business. There's a lot of different ways. You just haven't looked. You haven't looked lately. And if you're not paying attention, if you're not taking the moment to pay attention, then you're missing out. Because frankly, I help, I have 78 people in the International Entrepreneur Network right now, 78 people. And really only about somewhere between 8 and 14 people come to the calls every month. There's three calls you could get on every single month with me, and it's only $7 a month. So you have no excuse. You have no excuse to get support and help for your business and get ideas and get implementation strategies, get systems into place, get advice and feedback. You have zero excuse because for $7 a month, you could have that from me and dozens of other entrepreneurs who are in the group and ready to mastermind and brainstorm with you. But are you taking action on it? No. Why? Why? Do you think you don't need it? That's bull crap again. I call bullshit. Because I need it. I need brainstorming. I go to mastermind calls on Zoom all the time. I have accountability partners. I have coaches. I hire people. I go to workshops. I spent $2,000 on this last workshop for about story. $2,000, you guys. And yet you're, you're not even paying $200 for my event. Why is that? Why are you putting these blocks and self-sabotaging yourself in front of yourself and, and saying, oh, I can't afford this. I can't do this. Well, how can you afford it? If you don't switch your mindset around now, this is what you're going to hear from your prospects. I can't afford you. Or you're going to lower your rates so much that it undervalues you and nobody's going to hire you anyways because they don't think you're worth it. So stop it. Stop undervaluing yourself. Stop settling. Stop saying you can't afford things and go get the freaking help that you need. And I'm really super passionate about this because it's so critical to your success. I've been doing this for 17 years. I've seen thousands and thousands of entrepreneurs come through and so many of them did not do what I told them and have dropped off or only come for a little bit and not stuck around and they're nowhere to be found. They're not doing well. They might have even gone back and got a job for all I know because I don't see them thriving. I don't see them, you know, being really super successful, unfortunately, or they change jobs or they change businesses thinking, oh, well, that's not my thing, so I'm going to do this. But they don't get the help and support and brainstorming and the eyeballs on their business that can really help them find the holes and opportunities. And I'm telling you, this is the key to your success. If you don't have people looking in on what you're doing and giving you advice and feedback, you it's going to be really hard for you to make it. It is. And I, whether it's me or somebody else, there's a lot of people out there that do similar work as me, but a lot of people aren't as mm, thorough, I would say, and um, overarching have an overarching experience. I have experience in a lot of different areas in business. And I am more of a generalist, but that's a good thing because I know a lot about a lot. I do. And I'm, I'm tooting my own horn because I am. I'm super smart about what to do in business. And if you have, have very little, if you have doubt or you're unsure or you're confused, you're overwhelmed or you don't have time or you're too busy, that's when you want to come and see me. Because I can turn that around pretty quickly if you pay attention and you listen. Seriously. So you have two options today. Three options, really. One, join the International Entrepreneur Network. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you for $7 a month? That's just ridiculous. So if you want to step your big toe in, that's the thing you join, okay? And you can get a lot of value out of it. People come to most of the calls. The people that come to most of the calls are getting tons of advice, and feedback for $7, okay? Go to iEntrepreneurNetwork.com, the letter I, EntrepreneurNetwork.com, sign up today, and get on the next call, which there's one almost every week right now. <clears throat> the second thing you can do is you can come and have a call with me. Honestly, I have options from, you know, less than $200 to work with me to $20,000, right? So, but let's get you started somewhere. If you can't afford a couple hundred dollars, then you have to come see me. You have to come see me so we can focus on creating more cash flow immediately for you. Immediately, find a way to do it, honestly. But you have to come to a call first and it's, I'll do a free call with you. I'll do a free strategy session with you. People get value out of the free strategy session. 
and there's going to be no pressure to go into some high-end thing that you can't afford. I am not like that. I don't want to break your bank. I don't want to put you out of, on the streets. I don't want you to make it so you can't pay your mortgage. I want to help you where you are today so that we can help you make more money and get where you need to go and stop working so darn hard at the wrong things. So <clears throat> if you go to askcat.biz, it's A-S-K-K-A-T dot B-I-Z, askcat.biz, then you can sign up there and there's a questionnaire you got to fill out. Yeah, you got to tell me a few things about your business, your goals, and, and what your challenges are so that when we get on that call, we can move pretty swiftly through some of these obstacles and give you some solutions. Why would you not do that? Why would you not take the time to do that with me if you are not where you want to be? It's just silly. It's just silly not to take the time to do that. And you cannot complain. You cannot complain if you are watching this and you are struggling or you're not where you want to be or you're unhappy or you're not making the money and you are not coming to a call with me. You can't complain because you are not taking advantage of every little thing available to you and doing everything you've got to get where you want to go. You're not doing it. And you can't say you are because you, aren't, you haven't talked to me yet. If you haven't talked to me yet, then you don't know what you don't know. And I'm super confident that I, I don't, I, you will get three to five things of value from that free call where we can talk about also what else I can help you with and how I can help you. But I'm telling you, if you don't take action, you're just digging your own grave. You're digging your own grave and you're going to burn out if you go, go, go with the wrong things. And I'm just being blunt here. And yes, I want people who want to work because there's no magic pill. You can go listen to a bunch of other online marketing gurus and they'll tell you, oh, all you have to do is this one thing. And that's bullshit. It's bullshit. Because 1% of all the entrepreneurs in the world are really doing well at maybe that one thing. Okay. But you got to you got to do the work. You got to put the work in. If you're not willing to put the work in, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you unless you're really willing to do some of the things you need to do. So, I hope I'm scaring you. A lot of people I do scare. They're like, "I'm intimidated by you, Katrina." Trust me. I do this with love. I'm being harsh today because I'm tired of hearing the same old excuses from people out of their mouths day in, day out, day in, day out. It's like, do something about it. Stop complaining about it. Stop whining about it. Stop settling and stop complaining and stop making excuses why you can't do it today, why you can't do it next week, why this is in the way, why you have to wait until this. That's just bullshit. It's bullshit. Okay. And you're doing it to yourself. You're doing it to yourself because there's people like me who are willing to help you and you're not willing to do anything about it. Plain and simple. So I told you there were three ways to work with me and really those two are the best things you need to do right now. But if you can come to a live event, oh my God, and you can get three days of me working on your business, you are going to know the fastest path to cash. You are going to know exactly what to do to get clients and what not to do in your business so you're not wasting time. You can go to my event page and see when the next one is. And I don't care what the focus is of my event. I have three different ones throughout the year. Any of them will help any of you in any business because I am very versatile. I work with lots of different types of businesses from home improvement to spas and salons to network marketing to coaches, to authors, you name it. I've worked with sermonic healers and psychics. I mean, I've worked with all kinds of different kinds of businesses. And the reason that I love doing that and I'm really good at it is because I have a lot of different, a variety of things that I share. I don't just share one strategy. I don't just share that you have to do this. Every business owner is different. I teach, I treat you differently because I, based on your goals and where you want to go and what you plan on doing. So I'm, I'm one of the best kept secrets in the coaching world, let me tell you. And for what I charge, you get huge value, huge value, you guys. So, and huge access. A lot of people you don't even talk to yourself. You get to talk to their coaches or you have to listen in on a, a group call or you have to do it yourself in their home study program. I have all that, but talking one-on-one -on -one with a coach like me is going to increase your speed to success 10, 20 times faster than trying to do some kind of group 
group program or, you know, listen to some audio CDs, which I'm sure are good in different, depending on who they are, but there's nothing like one-on-one -on -one support and brainstorming and time planning on your business. Okay. So if you've watched to the end, make a decision. Either join the International Entrepreneur Network today and get on a call with me in the next week or so, or come to a private one-on-one -on -one call with me for free today. What have you got to lose? Nothing. So stop making excuses. Okay, I'm out. Have a good day, you guys. Bye.